Hey guys, welcome to Digital Srini channel on YouTube. And if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe right now. In this video, I'm going to talk about loading images and masks in a specific order. So when you load them for semantic segmentation, they're lined up, they're matched. You don't want to match your image with a different mask that doesn't represent the image. And then the training would be obviously horrible. Why am I recording this video? Because many of you asked exactly for this and why I haven't talked about this until now, because I have been showing all my work on a Windows system using Spider. And apparently on a Windows system, if your images and file uh, and your masks are named pretty much the you know in a similar way meaning like image 010203 and mask 010203 if you have these numbers then the way they are sorted internally in the system are pretty much the same way so when you load them in batches or when you load them all together they they, they are loading in the in the same specific order now I haven't realized this, to be frank with you, until now, but when I actually upload this data to uh, Colab, or when you load this onto a Linux system, then the image and mask may not be matched up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it probably has to do with when the image got uploaded in re with respect to when the mask got uploaded. And I, I, again, let's not go into that. Let's actually focus on, okay, let's say that your images and masks are not lined up. Even, let's not even say that. Let's say you have images and masks. What is the best way to load them such a way that you ensure they both are matching? Well, the best way would be look at the file name, look at the mask file name, and then if uh, the number needs to be the same, then strip everything other than the number and say, if this equals to this, then you have the right thing, right? But maybe you don't have to make things that complicated. You just need to sort your images and masks if they are appropriately named and then, and then, and then load them, that's it. Uh, so in the next few minutes, I'll just show you a few lines of code where we achieve exactly that. So again, I promise this is not gonna be a very long video. This is a highly informative video, I hope. So let's jump in. Okay, and first let's start by looking at our uh, directory and uh, how the structure looks like, yeah? So here I created a new directory called Sandstone 150 images, only 150, so we can we can, we can can do this uh, video uh, in a fast way and not stuck uh, reading 16,000 images. So here we have images and masks directories and our goal is to load them such a way that when we load images and masks, they line up. So if I look at images, the image, uh, the names are image 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to what? Up to 150 or 149, right? So this is how the images are and the masks should be pretty much the same. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way down here. Now, let's jump to the code. And here I have already connected my directory right there. I'm in my Google Drive. So if you look at exactly the same thing, you see a sandstone 150 images and masks. If I expand the images, we should see pretty much the same images, except you see the sorting order 0, 1, and then 10, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is okay as long as they're consistent, right? So if I open my masks, they're also hopefully should be pretty much the same type of sorting. So the point I'm trying to make here is just because they show up in a specific order on Google Drive or Windows or somewhere else, it doesn't mean that images are going to be loaded in the same way. So it makes sense for us to write extra couple of lines to make sure that we are matching them uh, ahead of time, yeah? So now let me close here and uh, jump into the code. Let's run, run these first few lines, which is basically the standard libraries, OS and glob to handle these files, walk through the directories, OpenCV to read the images, NumPy and matplotlib for plotting. Uh, so first I created an empty list called train images. This is exactly, I'm showing you the way that I have done in the last few videos on uh, Windows system where I didn't have to worry about matching because Windows took care apparently of sorting, you know, of, of lining up these images in the right way. Or maybe I got lucky, but whatever the reason is, this is exactly how we normally do. So you have an empty list and then you have uh, a directory and within that directory, you are actually looking at each TIFF file and you're reading those TIFF files. In this example, I'm reading them as color RGB and then I'm appending that to an empty list. And at the end of this, you'll have a list of 150 images and we convert those into a NumPy array at which point it's ready for us to be used as part of deep learning. So let's go ahead and run this to read all these images and I'm printing, I'm printing just to see how it is loading, yeah? So this way you can kind of see 
right there. It started off by reading image zero first, image five next, image seven, one, nine, six. Uh, I have to be honest, I don't know why. If anyone knows what, what's going on here, please let me know. But this is how it's reading, 05719. In fact, now I'm getting a bit curious, 05719. What happens if I run this a second time? Is it reading exactly in the same order? 05719, apparently it's reading in the same order. So maybe it's looking at a timestamp of when each image got uploaded or something, I have no clue. But the point here is, it's not reading them in a specific order. And in fact, if we go down, let's leave that as is. Uh, and write, see how many images. We correctly have 150 images, each 128 by 128 by three. Now let's read the masks and print out the mask names. Do we have zero, seven, nine, same thing? No, the first image right now is three, four, eight, five, one, two, completely different order. Now you see the problem. When you try to match your images with masks, it's not going to match up even though I have 150 Im uh, masks and 150 images right there. Okay, so I think you got the point here. Let's move on and uh, maybe we'll do this. Let's import a random image and a random mask, uh, but with the same image number, with the same number in our, in our NumPy array and see if they're matching. Obviously, they're not matching. This mask is representing something else Com uh, uh, compared to my image. It's com completely different, right? Okay, so this is the problem. How do we fix that? You probably know. We are just going to sort the images first and then load them. How do we do that? Well, let us uh, look at the same directory. Obviously, we are loading the same images. And then this is the key point here. First of all, I'm just getting the image names. That's it. I'm not loading them. It In this method, I'm not getting the image names at all. Well, in a way, I'm kind of getting it you know, right there, the path and everything. But here, I'm just getting the path first, okay? And then I'm sorting the path. And I'm loading how many ever images. I mean, this is an optional step. And then I'm actually loading the number of images. I'm, I'm trying to load, is that a valid? Uh, I should have checked it. Let's ignore that line, sorry. Image subset, let's ignore that line and image names. I do not like to edit things <laughs> while I'm recording videos, but I literally tested this and I'm eager to tell you guys about it. So just give me a second. So there you go. So we got our image names and also let's not do our mask subset because I, I had uh, 16,000 images and I was struggling loading all of those. I said, okay, just get me the first 10, first 20. By the way, this could be a great, uh, I'll leave this in when I share the code with you, because if you define number of images as another parameter that you can use while building your code, and then once you're done, go ahead and use all the images for training. But while you're building your model and everything, just load 50 images, who cares? You just wanna make sure everything is making sense, right? Okay, so let's just uh, change this to mask names right there. Okay, let's go back. So here I'm just getting image names and sorting the uh, images. So let me, show you in case you guys up oh, sorry god i'm not i'm not doing a good job here sorry guys my plan was to cut that paste it here there you go because i just want to show you the results of this so at this point i got image names and i'm sorting all the image names so if you just go to uh, print or image names let's say okay Let's go ahead and print our image names. Now they are sorted, okay? So now you should have whatever the sort, it should work for both images and masks. So you have image zero, next one is image one. If I keep going, then it comes image 10, probably 11 next, uh, image 100. <laughs> It's sorting uh, image 101. So this is how it is sorting. So now I can go ahead and load all those images in that specific order. Now let's go ahead and do exactly the same for masks and see if the sorting order is uh, matching. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's add another block right there. Print mask names. So let's run our two lines over there and I'm sorting the masks and print the mask names and we should have the same order. 0, 1, 10, 100, 1, and then comes 10, and then comes 100 uh, right there, and then comes 101. Now you see that the images and masks are 
sorted exactly in the same way. Now, when I load them exactly that way in my NumPy array, if I say, give me 35th NumPy array uh, from image and 35th from the mask, they both should line up. That's the whole point here, okay? So we loaded both of them. Now let's go ahead and read the masks. And once I have my 150 masks and 150 images, now let's go ahead and plot and hopefully they should line up. Otherwise this entire video <laughs> is useless. There you go, both of these appropriately let's remove a couple of lines so we can run these and see at the same time so there you go so i'm just loading random images that that we are reading like 150 images and everything is lined up images and the masks okay i'm not sure how many of you had this problem but uh, if you're working in colab or linux you know this is not a bad way of loading your images in fact i plan on switching myself to this way of loading images so i can I can define a subset and uh, and uh, and and work with the subset of my data, and uh, you know once I have a full model, you know full code ready, then I can just say okay, not use subset or use my subset as uh, zero to sixteen thousand images or how many ever you have. Okay, I hope uh, you guys found this uh, again tips and uh, you know uh, I I even forgot my own title tips and tricks Python videos to be really useful if so like these so i know that you like these videos and make more of these tips and tricks videos and usually they are based upon your questions so please asking these questions even though if i don't have time uh, you know answering those i will have a look at them and then if it is a recurring issue for many people i'll record videos like these so you guys can benefit from them thank you guys again please do not forget to subscribe